me tell you something, man. I, I got to say, and I, I, I owe apology to you guys. I owe an apology to the folks of the show. And I, I really was. You know what? Enough's enough. When I heard that audio from last week, Mikey, I, oh, I texted you. I, yeah. I, was, I was really pissed off. because I will say fair. this. I will say this. You, you were, like, legitimately distraught. I was like pissed. distraught. Like there was not, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, Oh, you know, that sucks. Like, Oh, well, like I'm over it. He was legitimately just, all he could talk about was just how bad his audio was. That's all he talked about for the next day, the whole day. He's like, I can't believe the audio. I ruined the episode. I came. So, I mean, it was there. I still think the, the episode did very well. I just, very, just to hear it did. It's, it's not fair to you guys. It's not fair to the fans. When I heard that audio, I was mm. very, very upset. You know, I got this beautiful, nice, expensive mic right in front of me. And all I had to do was just click on the fucking mic and I couldn't do it. So I got a new laptop. So we got a new Good. laptop. Now, did I get a new laptop because I left my old laptop in a taxi in New sure. York the other day? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but sure. I got a new laptop, but I really did. I, I owed an apology. You, better, you had that locked, right? You you like remotely deleted everything, I would I, hope? I would have had no idea how to do it. Perez did it all. I, I, oh. Perez set it up to where whatever, whatever, whoever steals it, they'll open it to a message. Um, he, he said the whole, it Perez was set it up to where the person who opens it, it'll actually self-destruct in the next 30 seconds. And it'll <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In your face. <laughs> um, That's sick, man. fellas, gentlemen, Joseph, can we have your attention for a second, please? I'm here. Can we clap it up? Please? Are you, are you here? Are you John? here, Joseph? Are you here? Are you here? Us? I know you got where a lot going on. Am? Where do you think yeah. I am? But mentally, I know you got a lot going on right now. I was, I will say wedding, wedding planning. I, God bless the cold. It's probably been like a 75 to 25% split in terms of what she's done compared to what I did. My 25% that I did today, I'm exhausted. What's that, I 25, was, what's that 25%? I was crunching numbers, figuring out budgets. I, I think we're almost secure on a location on a venue, which is huge. That's, that's a massive getting the dates. Um, I'm like picking out hors d'oeuvres and like That's packages and like play. I, it's going to be a plated dinner. A hundred percent. I'm not, you know, the buffet is nice, but I don't think anybody should stand up and go to a buffet and have to wait. No, like buffet, the, buffet, the, buffet is for cocktail hour. Not for, the, you know like the, not, for not, for, not for the, not, I mean, I've, I haven't been to a wedding. That's not a plate. I have, I've, I've had a buffet wedding before. It's not I bad. Not. I, I mean, well, the, the food was actually good. The, the cocktail, food was actually good. The cocktail hour is buffet style. And past well, no, so the, yeah, past canopies, mm -hmm. and it will be past like canopies or hors d'oeuvres. It's the same thing. So past canopies, and then it'll be past like wine and and probably sparkling, and then like you know fireball. No, there's no fireball. What's the deal with spot? Have you actually reached out to sponsors for the wedding? No, no, no. But you're acting as if that's. I actually happen. had a couple people reach out to me, so I actually think I have a photographer. And a videographer who are going to go pro pro bono, we'll call it pro Jono, and that they, they they are going to come down and um and maybe a wedding planner. So I had a couple of people reach out. Okay, I mean, the thing but no, is, but I, let me I, tell I, you something right now. You're saving yourself for this kind of wedding. My my expertise, right? Talk to a guy who's been married, he's got a lot of married friends. This type of wedding, if you're getting the videographer photographer on the arm, which you know is talk for free that's going to save you probably five to ten thousand dollars but, yeah, instantly but, but who's instantly. to say it, but who's to say it's on the arm joe just said it's pro jono uh, pro yeah. bono means they're doing it for free well because... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fly the guy in, the, the two guys in and pay for their accommodations for for the wedding but they just want to be a part of it which is incredible they want to be there and then where did you get the guys if i may they, 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 they hit me up <laughs> I tell you what, this guy is unbelievable, man. It's like Ko oh, oh, oh. Kojo this, photos. This is not a real world, bro. This but not, not, but this not only that, not this guy has been world. this guy has been in this line of work for like twelve to thirteen years. Uh, he sent me his portfolio. And Nicole looked at the the, the 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 wedding photos, and she's like, "They're gorgeous." Because I was like, you know what? If they're whatever, like I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna spare anything here. Like I want a great wedding. Like I'll tell you right now, the food is going to be incredible at this wedding, and. It's going to be an open bar the entire time. I am not 
it, it is a no question open bar and it's going to be a fucking I I, spectacle. I, I, if yeah, you if you good. listen if you don't have an open bar wedding that's a tough wedding to go to. Yeah, but you know wedding. what this this this, this crew that's is, coming to this wedding we have, it's going to get pretty wild. Do we have Mikey do we have an update on Mikey MCs? Well, no, I, don't ruin anything, Bob. I'm I'm planning it out. Well, but we what talked is, about a lot. We talked perhaps about, that's going to be kept behind the scenes between Joe and I, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, why does everything have to be done on the pod here, Bob? Oh, well, because we just talked about it on the pod last week. That was a big vocal point. I don't think it's that I crazy. said that I, I said, and I will remain true to the statement until further notice and until further um, update that I think that Michael would be a fanta- fantastic mm-hmm. MC, and I will leave it at that. I That's do. all I'm going to say at this point in time. Mikey, can you do me a favor? Mm. Can you? <laughs> I, I know people are going to be wondering where you got that sweatshirt from. So why wow. don't you? Just, why don't you just take them? Off <laughs> that I, 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 I can't. I can't. I was told specifically not to. Not yet. Cats but, out of the bag. But I'll say this. I'll say this. Crazy golf. You com. see it. You see it. You see it. You know what it is. You know what we're about. You see the hats, you see the shirts <laughs> coming soon to a theater near you. Stay tuned. You want to talk That's about a say. guy, Bob, who is an emotional roller coaster. Mikey V with this Bears team, dude. Did you see him going off yesterday like they just won the NFC North? By the it's way, it's pretty hysterical. So here's I don't, I don't, can I just say one thing? Point. Sure. I just want to say one sure. thing. The this amount your... of people now, now for the people who watch this show religiously, you're in for a treat because you you know what goes on. The amount of people that don't at this point understand that this video series, the Monday morning quarterback series, I give reaction after each game is a series long troll job. The amount of people that respond to it, not understanding that absolutely astounds me that people think like, I really think the bears are going to go 13 and four, but I'm going to keep doing it because people just love it. People just, they, they get so mad. They get so worked up. And it's just, it, it amazes me. It amazes me. So for all the loyal listeners, you understand, I want to let you know, this is a full season troll campaign that I am running for the Bears this year. A full season troll campaign. What By the way, your... Bears may run the table. Bears may win the Super Bowl. I'm just saying Justin Fields leads the league in touchdowns right now. He leads the league in touchdowns for a quarterback. Guy looks incredible. Joseph, your thoughts? I mean, it's 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 absurd. I mean, what about the avid follower from the start, the bear fan who followed you from day one. Now yeah. you're trolling them. I mean, I'm, not that's troll- not- I'm, I'm not trolling them, Joe. Listen, you said it's a troll job. Well, here's the thing is like to root for this team. You have to have a sense of humor. You, ha- you have to have a sense of humor. To root for this team. They they sure did. They, they sure did. won last week too. Should have. And you know what? Two and three is a lot better than one and four, but you know, we still have the number one, number two overall pick, which is nice if the season ended today, but uh if you're going to be a fan of this team, I think you have to have some levity. It can't be all serious because next week they could very well go out and lay a complete egg. That's the way this team goes. So, like, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be very serious anymore. By the way, I'm just down, not. you get kind of excited, Michael. Sometimes. I do. I get excited. Oh, well, I mean, I got excited. I mean, listen, I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. I, I, like, that's what I think. You do. You do. I do, but I don't. I, I do, but I don't. I see, I see the, the 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 troll side of it for sure. But then I also do agree with Joe to an extent that I do think that a lot of you get excited. And by the way, with how they played, you know, you should be excited to some degree. Well, here's he, what I was excited. I was excited. Eyes, I was excited about a couple things. Number one, the offensive line last night put a wall in front of Justin Fields. I mean, this guy had all day in the pocket last night. Who was that kid who came? Who came back? The kid from Tevin, Iowa. Tevin Jenkins, the kid from Iowa. Tevin that kid Jenkins looks like Tevin he doesn't Jenkins. belong on an offensive line. He yeah, looks but like he's he at, but Joe. He grades out as their best lineman ever. He's he's unbelievable. The, that's a night and day difference when he's in the game. I mean, you saw it last night. He had a wall in front of him. And DJ Moore. I mean, DJ Moore last night was absolutely ridiculous. Well, you're happy because you have him in fantasy. That's why you're happy. I mean, Joe, I'm happy as a Bears fan that the guy they traded the number one pick for <laughs> blew up like that. I'm very happy. It's By validating. Do you know sometimes Instagram glitches to where it'll show you, like, say I go to watch Joe's story, Joe's story yeah. pops up. Yep. Joe's story will come back up as if he posted a new story. A new but story. He never yep. Did. Yep. So that happened with Mikey. So for on mine. So I've been seeing Dick Buckets 
tribute posts from Mikey. <laughs> nah, oh, you know what? Oh, all I see is I've seen Dick <laughs> Buckus for that. I can't wait for the story to go down, and that's nothing against you. And rest in peace, Dick Buckus. Uh, but- do you mean that? Do you mean rest in peace? <laughs> rest in peace? Of course. Do you I actually mean, mean of, that? Of course. I mean. I don't think you do. I don't. This is like an idol to Mikey V. This is an of- idol. Well, oh, Dick Buckus, I mean, he's got a corner in his basement. Dick's Buckus. corner, Dick's corner, yeah, Dick's, Dick's corner, Dick's corner, Dick's corner, Dick's yeah, Dick's corner. Dick's well, corner. my father, outrageous. my father became a Bears fan because of Buckus and Sayers when they were drafted together. The Bears had two top five picks, and they took Gail Sayers and Dick Buckus. Great movie, by the way. Um, the Gail Sayers, um, come on, don't Brian song. That's exactly what it is. To okay. Brian Piccolo. That's right, Bob. Sure, very sure. good. Very good. Uh, when it comes thing. to sports movies, yep. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, that I mean, Buckus was when I heard that. I got to be honest; it really, I was like, I really rocked me because I know that was my dad's guy. So I immediately called my dad, and my dad didn't know yet. Yeah, yeah didn't so know that you know. he was getting old, like oh. it's gonna happen at some point. <laughs> well, you know, the, the guy, the guys, you you do know that the guy was at the last Bears home game. He's on Twitter all the time, <laughs> so like he wasn't ill. He wasn't like ill or anything. He he passed away. I'm just saying. He's, but, getting old, but, you know, it's not like but Jeff, when people say, seem surprised with some of these older like passes away because he was like very much involved. He was very vibrant and involved. He's on Twitter. He's at the games. And all of a sudden, you know, the guy's gone. He was 80 years old. It's not like he was 90. But, and, but, you know, it was, you know, he wasn't Jeff, sick. He wasn't I, like sick. I'm not actively thinking to myself, man, Goose Gossage is getting up there to where I better be ready to where if I wake up on a certain day. I think day, about this stuff all the time. Some that, of the ghosts. That, <laughs> that Goose might be gone. A lot of people were rocked by Dick Buckus. And yeah. You know, me yep. being being one of them. But No, you weren't. No, you weren't. What, 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 what is that? I mean, <laughs> because, he, because he gave this statement about you, you're tired of seeing the Buckus tribute story. Well, <laughs> but, but, but because you're right. people. It keeps its glitch to where it's all. Maybe that's Dick, Dick sending you a message. You know, you yeah. should think of me a little more often. That's yeah, all. I look. Maybe it is Dick. I mean, maybe it you is. Don't, but Bob, you don't think about some of these older people who are going to go in the next five years, ten years. No, it's very morbid to do that. I feel like. Well, I think about it all the time. You got to think something. You don't think like Al Pacino, Robert yeah, De Niro. Man. I mean. Harrison Ford is 81 years old. He yeah. just did a freaking Yo, Indiana Jones movie. What's the that's last? Sad, that's sad to think that some of these guys in the next 10 years, they probably won't be around. That's very, very traumatizing. What's up, guys? Mikey V here from the Brilliantly Dumb Show. Myself and the boys have teamed up with the DraftKings Sportsbook app, an official partner of the NFL. Speaking of the NFL, we're knee deep. We're about five weeks in right now. And the action has never been hotter. And speaking of hot action and speaking of a great promotion that we're offering to new customers today, anyone who's a new customer, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use promo code DUMB, that's D-U-M-B, wager just $5 on anything and you'll receive $200 in bonus bets instantly into your account. Win, lose, or draw, doesn't matter. DraftKings Sportsbook, brilliantly dumb show, to the moon. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, Kansas, licensee partner Golden Nugget Lake Charles, Louisiana, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. What, what's the last celebrity or athlete death that really hit you, Joey D? What's the last one that, that really struck you? Amy Winehouse. There was no hesitation there whatsoever. No. Why is that funny? Bob? Oh, it's not. No, that's didn't... a tragic no, story. No, actually, you know who? There's one more. The guy from Lincoln Park. That, that guy. That, Ch- that was tough. Ch- Chester Bennington would be. The yeah, thing. that's but, a tough one too. But the, because the only... those are those are ones you don't anticipate. You don't expect that they're gonna go. That's that to I, me is I, a traumatizing. Death. The reason my thing was I just didn't expect that coming because didn't Amy Winehouse die along to where I would think that somebody died I just after told you, that. Chester Bennington. Yeah, but Lincoln even that, Park, but that was a that was a long time ago to where I would think you. Would you know, it was another one. Another one sure. was uh, that that dude from the Fast and the Furious. That was a bad. One. That was a tough Paul, one. Uh, Paul Walker. Paul, Paul, Paul Walker, Walker was a tough yeah. one. I'll tell you what hit me. Uh, very recent, Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, was, yeah, was that was old, that, that was brutal. Well, but but <laughs> that, but he was sick. But, Joe, he was sick but, but that doesn't. Yeah, mean that. 
but that doesn't mean that you can't be upset about it. Uh, no, no, upset. absolutely. I was, I was very upset because Holly and I wanted to go to a Jimmy Buffett concert and we fucked that up. So that's over now. Did Holly that wait, sucks. which? Is, wait, wait, which Buffett is this? Is this the musician or the the rich one? Which one is it? Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. The musician, Jimmy Buffett, cheeseburger Which is in one? paradise. I thought it was the rich Buffett, the one who does the Super That's Bowl. Warren Buffett, Joe. Oh, Warren Buffett. That's the one I thought was the one that. No, so they're different guys. You know, yeah, like... one's named Warren and one name is Jimmy. <laughs> Which is yeah. the one that does the uh, the NCAA pool every year? He'll pay a billion dollars if somebody gets it right from start to finish. I'll the give NCAA you a hint. bracket. I'll give you a hint. That's Joe. a Warren Buffett one, it's right? Not Jimmy. That's correct. <laughs> that's, I was a little concerned that I didn't have a chance to make a perfect bracket. This so you're not a parrot head, I take it. I know I don't know anything about Jimmy Buffett. Oh man, he's got great tunes, what man. Let me tell you something, Jimmy Buffett. If, you're, if it's Paradise, when it's Joe? summertime and you're by a body of water and you oh. got a beer open, there's nothing better than. I mean, songs. I probably would know a song if I heard it, but I Margaritaville. I that's a restaurant chain. That's unbelievable. Now look, no. there's wasted away wasted again in Margaritaville. Oh no, yeah, I think I've heard. I think, uh, you guys I think have terrible voices, have. but that yeah, yeah, that I could kind of pick. I up have on. a I have a decent voice. Decent How? voice. Do you think? Do you think you have a decent voice? <laughs> yeah, not not good. based off of that performance. You don't. I mean, I, I was not. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I've had a, a, yeah, sore throat. How about cheeseburger in paradise? Great song. Uh, let me see if I hear. I, I don't. I don't know. Based, I, I'm not good with with song titles. I never get with song titles. But if I hear a song, cheeseburger in paradise. It's. A, I mean, it's a. It's a. It's a great song. Great song. It's a great song. I almost the opening. The opening song. riff is tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can't hear that, but yeah, no, it's good. Oh, I heard it a little bit. Uh, it sounds good. I never heard of it. It's a great song. Jimmy right. Buffett's got some good ones, man. Yeah, that was a tough one. So Warren Buffett's still one for with sure. us, right? Warren's still with us. <laughs> All right, good. Warren's good. still with us. Do you want to know a fun fact about Warren Buffett? He um he goes to McDonald's every single morning and he orders he orders from McDonald's everything. He he lives like way. I mean, he 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 really does. He you would never know that he has the good money for him. that he does. Good for him. Good for him. I and love you know someone what, who Joe? doesn't change based off the money they have. I think you would do the same thing, Joey Day. I think if you had I'll tell you what, budget, McDonald's breakfasts are some of the most underappreciated breakfasts you can have. Every once in a while, you gotta have a good a McGriddle. Sausage yeah. and egg McGriddle. That, that one thing that Ticket had at the Breezy was very delicious. That biscuit sandwich. Oh, very, he loves those biscuit Mikey, sandwiches. He, the big ticket, no joke. About five days a week, this is no joke, has three bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits to yeah. start his day. Yeah. Three of those things. So think about that. Yeah. Is that not nuts? Yeah, it's not good. It's not it's good. Not good. <laughs> like, it's not like, listen, I, I mean, like, I, I indulge on the weekends, definitely, but like, that ain't good. That, five that, days that a week, Bob. Good. Are you sure about those numbers? I mean, I me. talked to when I was talking to Ticket at Breezy, he's like, bro, I legitimately probably postmates like twice a day when I'm home. Fast oh food. well, yeah. I mean, Postmates. My my Postmates is no, but fast food. <laughs> yeah, like fast food twice a day. Well, I'll tell like you, that's this. that's not good. Like the, that ain't good. The late night acai bowls that I and do. I love them, but I you know I don't. Bob, you know good. what I you know what I Postmated the other day is that burgers never say die. That place is pretty good. Is that on Postmates? Uh, not maybe it was on DoorDash. I think I'm out on Postmates. DoorDash is the way to go. DoorDash is great. Yeah. Or that caviar is like the upper echelon one. That's the one that Jason has. Sure is. That's like the bougie one. Do you, you don't do a lot of delivery, Michael. No, Never. no, uh, no, I do. I did. Tonight we had, tonight I got a, a pizza Friday, so I had pizza delivered. Tonight. You did, huh? I did, yeah. And do you do one of the apps? Yeah, so I had, um, yeah, I Slice. You guys have Slice? It's called no. Slice. Yeah, it's specifically for, for pizza places. Really? Wow. Well, I guess That's... because because in our area there's so many fucking pizza places that I mean, you know, must be nice. That's something that I could definitely get into. That yeah, we had nice. we had this sandwich. It was uh, chicken cutlet, vodka sauce, and fresh mozzarella melted on top. It was so fucking good. See, that is, I, I'm making that transfer to where I love now doing it. Not enough places do it. Sometimes you just got to ask. I, I talked about it before. It's like I see it more and more now. Instead of going like chicken parm with with the Cutlet. with the red sauce, Joseph. Cut, cut. Now you do the, with the vodka sauce. Yeah. Do you that think that's crazy, good. Joe? 
it's different. No, it sounds pretty good. I love the vodka sauce. It's I different. do. Yeah, I do too. My buddy's restaurant, he my favorite thing he makes is special. Veal Who's porn. This Luna? Is this no, uh Luna Frank Wood? Anthony's Frank, by the way. Luna Wood Fire just... Tavern. Yep. By the way, <laughs> the official sponsor of the Real and Dumb Show, ladies and gentlemen, Luna Wood Fire Tavern, promo code Bear Down Cuz. <laughs> they'll tack on 10 percent extra to your order <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah, that's right. you'll give you an extra order of uh mozzarella bites but he'll charge you for them go back to what you're saying i apologize michael uh this place uh frank anthony's in verona they do veal chop on the bone joe would like this veal Whoa. chop on the bone harm but vodka sauce with a layer of prosciutto underneath the mozzarella with vodka um, sauce on top of it. It is so it's almost like a veal salt and boca. Kind of, but with vodka, obviously, with vodka sauce instead. But he does it like parm style over pasta. Well, the salt and boca is with the prosciutto lined. I'm Correct. Honest. So that part of it, yes. And then, but it, wow, it, it's 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 something else. By the way, when he Joe, has that on the menu. I usually try and make it in there. Mikey's got a place that he knows by him. And I don't know how it started, but I'm here for it. I mean, I think it's great. They started naming breakfast sandwiches. Oh, dude, I was just about to bring that up. Talercios. To, yes, which is great. By the way, Talercios. Talercios. Uh, that's your spot. It's not, but they made it. Our, they 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 are big fans of the show. I I can't get there often enough. They're but just, is it they good? want so they want to make a brilliantly dumb show sandwich, and they want us three to collectively come together and construct a sandwich to get put on the menu, Joe. Now let me ask you this: and they're very popular. They're like a they're a very popular joint. It's but not Joe, like some you know they, they're they, they're legit. They did a video. They're like you know we're gonna do a Taylor ham egg and cheese just the way Bobby likes it. I I never had a I never had a conversation like I never had a dialogue with them, but I thought it was great. I mean, well, you I met the great. guy at the Audi Club. So, Joe, those were the guys who catered the Audi Club sandwiches. Uh, the last Audi. Club. Oh, yeah, Bob. That was yes, that's correct. They did were I, the ones that first. You Audi did. Club you met the special. kid. You met the kid, Bob. Not the no. The last one where the wives came and stuff. They supplied those sandwiches that we had. Did they? Oh, okay. oh yes. yes. That yes. no, in the round in the yes. round case. Correct. Correct. By the way, I think it's great. And the sandwiches look terrific to where I'm yeah. all for it. I mean, they could just keep firing away on that. So we do need to come together and, and pick, make a sandwich. Now, let me and ask then. you this. Before we give them our sandwiches, maybe they sponsor the show. Wow, that could be a discussion. Is that nervy? I That's don't think so. Nervy. They want to so. make a sandwich about us, and then we immediately say we need a sponsorship. But in the meantime, in anyway, while call. while we're talking about it, the Brilliantly Dumb Show is brought to you by San Pellegrino. <laughs> San Pellegrino, Ascenza, Dark Morello Cherry, and Pomegranate. Your flavored mineral water with other natural flavors and CO2 added. Drink Pellegrino. Sickening. Joseph, uh, what else is the Brilliant Dumb Show brought to you by? H2O. Servicing your every need and keeping you alive one part at a time. The Brilliantly Dumb Show is brought to you by Sonic. A lot of options, not very good. Sonic. You well, know the thing about Sonic, they always push, love Sonic. I feel like Sonic always Stinks. pushes the icy drinks. That's like their big they thing do. is those slushies. I never I think milkshake, milkshakes are too. I the, think... the cherry limeade is like the big to do, right? I've never had one. I, you know I frankly, it doesn't appeal. Sonic? It doesn't appeal to me. Really. Go ahead, the Joseph. People who like Sonic, they'll defend it to the death. Right? Yeah, they're very yeah. few and far yeah. between. Yeah, you know I haven't like? met one. It's like what it's like what right. Jed said about blue cheese people. What did he say about blue cheese people? That all blue cheese people are unreasonable. <laughs> yeah, something crazy like <laughs> they that. They think that it's the best, and they can't be reasoned with. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. I do like blue cheese. Blue cheese, I is great. Too. Yeah, I do yeah. too. I prefer yeah. ranch. I, I, you know, if I order Wingstop. Which, by the way, we'd love to have Wingstop sponsor sure. the Brilliant Dumb Show. Yeah. Uh, I like to do that's, they have that's the a best Rick Ross ranch. owned industry. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, they have the best ranch, but I'll get the ranch and the blue cheese. Yeah, and why some, not? You know why? Because I have a theory that some wings taste better with blue cheese, and some wings taste better with ranch. I don't think yeah. that's a. I don't think that's a far fetched theory, though. No. I think buffalo may work with something, and then you got your Thai ginger may work better with something else. Yeah. So if you so do like, you know, like the garlic parmesan wing is delicious yeah. with the blue cheese crumble. It's still del- it's unbeatable. Mm-hmm. But like the buffalo with the saucy part i don't like to get the crumble on the yep. side i like to go yep. for the ranch makes a lot so of so i feel like they're made for certain sauces depending on what 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 kind of style wing you do i agree i, I would think rick ross 
does a tremendous job off that too. Probably he probably gets bank off of that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Burnley Lum Show to let you know that the Burnley Lum Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at Athletic Greens. I use Athletic Greens every single morning. It gives me better gut health, more energy, an optimized immune system, and you just cannot go wrong. It's a terrific way for me to start my day. Athletic Green supports better sleep quality and recover, supports mental clarity and alertness. You cannot go wrong. It's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every single day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. Just one scoop into some water and you're good to go. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Get Athletic Greens today. If you could ever be like, to the point where like, you're like, I'm going to be involved in a chain, like have ownership in a chain, like a fast food chain. Well, I, I mean, I don't just say Wendy's cause that's what we were. We always talk about, but what would you, what would be your spot that you would be like, I could drop in whenever yeah, I could you have eat to there, be whatever Chick-fil-A, I could get. No? Chick-fil-A Bob. Or Chick- no? Well, if I could say Jersey Mike's, but if we're not going to count that as fast food, I, I mean, I, yeah, Jersey Mike's count. I mean, wing stop Jersey Mike's. I, I'd say the same. Yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'd agree. Jersey Mike's means something to me. It really it does. Really does. But why? Um, no, what? Nobody knows really. From- <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. I, I just why well, I have to ask. I'm like, just- Bob has this weird thing about Jersey Mike's, bro. It's bizarre. He's so he he said to me. Now, by the way, nice. Jersey Mike's is very good for like a. It's better than like Blimpy Subway. Like it definitely a hundred percent is, in my opinion. I've had it. It's good. It's better than Jimmy John's. Yeah. I do, but but I will say with Jimmy John's though is that the the Jimmy John's bread is very very good. No, I I just you know the one time Bobby just was like you know I don't understand why they have Danny DeVito doing it when I could be I'm like Bob it's Danny DeVito. <laughs> no, you didn't I say that. Bob. No, he said no. I swear to God I was like <laughs> no, Bob no. it's Danny freaking DeVito no, man no, it's not like no, no, no. You know, you're nobody. A sick, you're a no. sick. He's like fuck, I could Bob. be their guy. No, 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 who no, is no, this no, guy? No. Why are they got him? That's you said who is this guy? No, well, no, he's not that, a movie guy. No, Bob, Joe, that's true. Bob, name three movies Danny DeVito's in. I'm not gonna give you a movie. I'm gonna give you. We'll give you shows. Okay, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Okay, give me but, one movie. But no, what I what I didn't say when I saw him, I said, you know, this motherfucker, like that could be me. That could be. Oh, but got no, it. but I didn't. I didn't say, oh no, who is this guy? You know, I didn't. So but, it was a more like it was more like of an envy kind of a thing. First, so maybe maybe sure. I misinterpreted it. it. First, but he did sure. he did show some anger towards. Well, I believe that. One, I really. Jersey Mike's I've made my biggest push for where I've really, really wanted bad. And I've gotten so close to them where I, I've had them there and haven't been able to get the job done. Um, so Jersey, Jersey Mike's. Yeah. Jersey Mike's. That's how I feel about Wendy's at this point. I really that's, do. That's how I feel like we were right there. I really did. We flew too close to the sun. We might have. We might have. I'm dropping. I'm dropping a reel on Wendy's very shortly. And it's going to be my last ditch effort. It's going to be the last oh, ditch effort. I know. Oh my yeah, yeah. One more. No, no, one more. No, my yeah, God. one more. Oh my God. No, Let my dead God. dogs lie. <laughs> no, I'm going to review. I'm going to review the pumpkin spice frosty. Oh, and that's no. Gonna be no. Yeah. no, Mikey. No. You know it's what? already dead. Don't kick it in the ribs, man. It would, it would be like me reviewing Cousins Maine's lobster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, you just and gotta, I, and I, you gotta oh let it go, God. Mikey. Yeah, yeah, some things are better go, just man. to. We were, like, I feel know. like we were so close, man. So close. When we got the biggie bags and the personalized I messages, know. You know I know what? the cardstock letter, and they were great. Written. And you know when I got it in the studio, that doesn't <laughs> work. But but <laughs> what are we gonna do with the biggie bag, Joe? What are we gonna yeah, do with it? It's... You know, it looks great. It's it's cool. I feel like one day I will take it out when I go golfing. Once we can't even take it out because yeah, we're sponsored. Would, I know you guys can't, but I can. I that would can. that would be a riot. That, yeah, that, I think I'm gonna. Really, I think really, I'm gonna. Really, I think I'm gonna. And people are just gonna sh- look at me like I'm absolutely fucking insane because nobody's course. gonna have any idea what the fuck is of going course. on. Go ahead, Joseph. 
I think, Mikey, for the review, you should eat the Frosty on top of the Biggie. That's bag. That could be done very easily. <laughs> very easily. But I do have a curveball that I'm throwing into that review, and I'm going to say it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will this say guy's that. gonna get shadow banned. He's not. He's no, I hope not. <laughs> I've been, I've been there. I've been there. It's not. It's not fun. It's not fun being shadow banned. Remember when he said that Instagram banned him they, for whatever they reason? Did. Joe, they banned me from lives for a month. That's not like a made up story. Maybe you it's just 100%. didn't update the app. <laughs> Joe. Joe, why would know. they? Why would they ban you for? Because what? someone what? reported a story that I put up, and it they sent me an alert saying it goes against Joe, their guidelines, Joe, and then they was, banned me from Instagram Live for a month. I'm not. A, that's not a, a made up story. It was a yeah, Packer fan. That, that, it was a Packer <laughs> fan. It's probably fucking Joe. For all we know, yeah, really good. Probably fucking Joe. It, really it was Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Might have been Rodgers after the after the. the By the way, Lila. I hate to say, do you hear Aaron Rodgers is planning a comeback to the NFL this season? Joe, we talked. Joe, are you are you from Earth? <laughs> we we talked about this on the Sportsman literally this week. We talked about I, it on Brilliantly Dumb we last talked week. About it. <laughs> You're losing it, man. You need some ginkgo biloba. You really are, you Joe. You really, You're losing it. You really no, are. We, we about, didn't talk about no, this we, on yes, this. No, show. Yes, we did. No. yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And you were like, there's no way he comes back with the Achilles, Mikey. <laughs> like, but I, I thought think that was on the sports. He, yeah, that's right. But not on the really dumb show. I didn't talk about No, we did. But we you, said, about- you said it as if, like, we haven't dis- we've discussed it. Well, it's not always the same <laughs> audience. Know, now, Joe, he is sh- like five weeks ahead of schedule. In the, Dude, in he's the out walking. of a walking boot. He's in a, he's in a I shoe. Know. I know. It would be wild. It would it's be wild. It's unbelievable, man. This guy is re- rewriting I'm like, rooting the book. For it. I am rooting for it. I'm a oh. huge Rodgers guy. Imagine now that he's out he of Green Bay, I'm, I'm a huge Rodgers guy. My Imagine thing. he came back and he actually brought the Jets to a playoff. Yeah, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. They, are they going to beat because Denver this week, Bob? Yes or no? I don't think so. I think they will. I, I think they, I, I really, I, 87% I really... of the public money is on the Jets money is line. Is that right so? Now. Yes. What's that running? By the way, um, usually, Joe, you know, I say keep your head in this and, and try not to check the phone, try not to... I need those corn huskers and I need them really, really bad tonight. I don't want to know. Um, I didn't tell you to go big. Oh, fourth and goal. They're going to go for it. Shit. Where? Where? Illinois is fourth and goal from the one. I think they're going for it. From, I, from, I don't have the game on. That's a problem. I don't have the game on. What's that's, the score? That's a problem. It's What's zero, the score? Zero. What do you guys got? Zero. You got to give context. We have Nebraska, people are li- people are, hold on. Hold on. People are listening. We got to paint the picture. What What do you got? Illinois is hosting Nebraska tonight. Nebraska plus three. Nebraska plus three. What's the score? What's the what's it's the clock? Zero zero. Oh, it's going to touchdown. It's zero zero. It's fourth and goal from the one yard line for mm-hmm. Illinois. For Illinois. Okay. Back to the Aaron Rodgers thing briefly, and then we'll go into our buy or sell. Um, by the time he came back or comes back, if he does, they're going to be so out of the playoff picture that I don't think it's. I, you can't I really discredit the game Zach Wilson had on Sunday night, Bob. No, he looked, he, he looked good. But for at the Monday same night, time too, Monday? You, Sunday, you, Sunday night, Sunday. You got Buffalo in the division. You got the Dolphins in the division. So if anything, it would have to be a wild card spot. If Joseph has his hand up. Joseph, take it away. I think that while we're on the the subject of football, I'd be remiss to not bring up something that we discussed that Mikey V. I don't even think knows about the Showtime trade proposal <sighs> to the tickets. Oh, which which I'm happy. Oh, it is oh, perhaps wait, the wait. most. Ticket sensitive, ticket sensitive, ticket sensitive, horrific ticket trade offer. Yeah. And he and Bob, can you read the text? Do you have it's, the text? It's I what, saw the text. I saw it, the text. It's it's the way that he offered it this trade. It, unbelievable. It's it's almost like he tried to swindle the ticket. At, what do you mean? Public. Almost. That's exactly what it, it, it is. It it really is. This, now, this if is I had, to, if I could, you imagine if I had done that. The oh. lamb basting I would have taken for sure. Um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Why and are you know rolling what? your eyes, Joe? You know that's true. For sure. I'm not disagreeing. I just can't. I, I I'm thinking about the offer and how he. Bob, please read the message this and is, show the people we're not making this up. This is Showtime. Who God do we love him? But this guy just lives in his <laughs> own world. This is the. By the way, he has a very good team. He's first in the league. Yeah, he does. This is the text that he sends the ticket. Now, I'm not saying I'm even committed to this. To be honest, it makes me a little uneasy. But I thought (laughs) I'd at least float it by you to get your thoughts. How would you feel about Geno Smith 
for Justin Jefferson. We could wait until next week if you want Geno, since Geno is on a bye now. Now, as ridiculous as it is. He was also hurt. Yeah. Uh, who get, Yeah, but. It, to say, now, I'm not even saying I'm even committed to this. To be honest, it makes me a little uneasy. That, to me. Is preposterous. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 100 honest. <laughs> some some commissioners. Some commissioners would throw him out of the league for that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. De- I'm dead serious. You I'm dead serious. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh my I, god! I, I mean, now if Ticket now if Ticket had accepted that, I'm telling you it right would be now, vetoed. it would be Dicky. But he's the commissioner. If it's well, not league vote like and commissioner vetoed. rules, I'm just, I'm That's just all giving a hypothetical. A would never have done. I'm no just giving a hypothetical. Way. Dickie Gas, if you think Dickie Gas is, is, is unbearable now, if that happened, it would be to the point where he'd be, you wouldn't even, it would be insane. But that's a, that's a reasonable response to such an uh, absurd trade-off. It, it's, it's disrespectful to Dickie. <laughs> it, re- it, really, it really is. I mean, I to disagree. think that he would even consider doing that it's but the but the verbiage. I'm not even saying that I'm committed right. to doing this. That's he's what trying to sell he's it. giving yeah. him. He's trying to sell it. It's like he's giving him Tom Brady in his prime. That's right. And to say that he's uneasy as if he's losing sleep over it. What a sick up. What I mean. What By the he, way, Bobby, it's the same guy who filmed Justin Thomas in the Ryder Cup and said, you know, not not to be absurd, Bob, but he's taking 50 seconds for his swing, and you're you're complaining about me taking 25 seconds. That's right. That's right. Well, there's no. a little bit of a difference. Isn't Bob, there? tell him what your response was. I, was, I, said, I said, Showtime, these guys are playing in Rome for the Ryder Cup. <laughs> I said, when you... When you take- We're talking about a potential matchup with you against the Duke. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Your, your yes. minute is that in scene no municipal course we pay twenty dollars <laughs> for the tea time. I'm, it is. He it goes, is. They have their forum. I have mine. Yeah. I was like, oh my. God. <laughs> I'll tell you something. This if, guy's a If wild I was on the boy. course and somebody told me to speed up, I would be very cognizant of it, knowing that if I have to tell you to speed up, you really hit a point where it's like, okay, I really need you to speed up. No. Did they stop them? Did they? Are you sure, Joe? Are you sure? Oh, the That's what I'm talking about, Joey <laughs> King. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Yeah. Back to the program. Back. Respect right. the program. I, I, I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. Respect. Now the phone's going down. Phone's Keep me updated. Respect the program. Um, let's go to our buy or sell. I am buying Nebraska corn <laughs> husker. <laughs> um, oh. Happy to start us off, fellas. Yeah. Go Happy ahead. to start us off. Buy or sell. What did you like of the week that you saw? What did you didn't like of the week that you didn't saw? Mikey, I'll be curious for your opinion uh, for it because you've seen a lot more of it. I used to love New York City. Me and my friends would love going. I love going to Yankee games. <laughs> I use, you know, the slices on every corner. It's a very neat city. With that being said, You're I was just there. New York? New York City right now. The cesspool. It is at Joe. It's a cesspool. It's every corner. It is it's a cesspool. Filthy. I, I mean, it's worse in LA. Oh, I think as bad as LA is to me, by far. I, it is. I mean, it was really walking around the streets at every single corner. There, there's no regard for for mm. trash. For you have people who are on, hopped up on so much shit they're they're chucking shit onto the street you don't oh. know what they're I'm telling you man I this is a city that I always loved it's it's in a way home and coming back and seeing it I, you couldn't pay me enough money see what goes on it. on mass transit in New York City on the oh subways yeah <clears throat> That's what why if, if, and when, if, and shame, when, if and when I have to go there, and I, I very rarely will volunteer to go there, I will never park. I'll always Uber, or, you know, get a lift in. Uh, I'll never take mass transit. I try not to take my kids in there. Um, I, I take it's, it. it's, 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 it's as bad as it's ever been. It's as That's bad as it's ever been. And you, and you may have opinions as to why that is and why it's hit the sure. lows that it's hit. <sighs> And we're not going to discuss that, but it's as bad as it's ever been. What a shame, man. And Joe, I used to love going into the city. I mean, I, it was the best. I, I used to love it. It is absolute 
May. I'm telling well, you. When you go to the Yankee game, you really don't see, you don't realize it because you're in your little bubble there on that corner. And, you know, it's all bars and it's, you know, it's, it's right. different. But if you go into Manhattan and, and I mean, just it's, it's, that's devastating. It really I love was. New York. I, I love New too. York. It's very. You know, you know, it makes me realize Chicago is a very nice city. Oh, beautiful. The Chicago, Chicago was downtown great. was beautiful. Very Chicago nice. Chicago was great. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, it really was. But yeah, I, I hate to say it, man. I, I am I am selling New York City. I, I really am. Pains me wow, to do it. Yeah. Man. Well, let's send it over to you, that's, Joey D. It really is. That It hurts to say. That's tough. Um, I'm selling. Uh, I, I'm I'm. You know, I've tried to be patient. I've tried to get, you know, to to get on board with it. And I just, I'm so freaking done with it. Streaming services for games. Now, Thursday nights, Amazon Prime. Sundays, you go to YouTube. Uh, it's, it's Amazon Prime. Let me tell you something right now. I was a full play and a half behind on my Amazon yesterday, watching that Bears game to the point where I was getting notifications on my phone about plays that hadn't happened on my TV yet. And you have no choice. You have to watch the streaming service. It's it's not like you'd be like, oh, if I want to buy this, I can watch it on this. Maybe they give me some more in-depth, you know, kind of viewing experience. And it, that's it's the only option you have to watch the game. Well, it's just it's it's a sad state of affairs that we're in now. It charges you extra money. It doesn't give you better viewing experiences. And and again, Amazon is just a bang job. I mean, it's not just on uh, Amazon yeah, specifically, yeah. but the streaming services to watch the games could be so much better. For us to pay a premium to watch it, it's a joke. Michael, your thoughts? No, I can't co-sign that. I I, I I like the people over at Amazon Prime Sports. I oh, think they're good guy. people. This guy's got um, something in that. And I got to be this honest. This guy's got something in the pipeline. And I got to be honest yeah, also. Man, I got to be yeah. honest <laughs> also, Joe. I got to oh be honest, though. In terms of being behind, I watched it last night streaming it outside on the patio, and it was on point. And I, you know, obviously I get all the alerts for bear stuff on my phone, and it was right on the money. It was right Why on the money. Why is my I Amazon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Bob, know. Bob, this has happened to me for And the, over by a the year way, now. the quality, I think the video quality is better than when I watch a game on cable, like on two or seven, even if it's HD channel, I just feel like the streaming network, you're getting a higher quality picture. I just always feel that way. What than you with a cable in cahoots with Amazon right Something's now, right? in the pipe. Something is this in the pipe. This does not make sense. I mean, I've been on an Amazon. I've been on an Amazon Prime show. I'm in direct contact with the guy who runs that show and the guy who runs some of those shows in the daytime. And well, can we, you tell him to check my subscription because I'm a fucking <laughs> yeah, play and a half behind on gonna, every show? Yeah, gonna I'm going to put in the call right now. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to shoot a text. I don't know, honestly, Joe. I don't you know if that's the I don't know if that's your Wi-Fi or if that's the network. I don't think it's the network. I really don't. <laughs> Did you it's have any good. issues with the stream, Bob? Uh, I did. I didn't watch it last night. I was at the dinner last night. And you know what? I'm 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 happy I did. I mean, in his defense, it was the it was Commanders a game. Bears game. It was a good game though. It ended up being a decent little game. Yeah. A lot of scoring, well, if you like. I the over. I, I will. Over. I'll tell you what though, Joey D. If you're going to sell streaming, that means you also have to sell YouTube TV, which has never been done no, in no, the history no, of the Berlin no. Dump Show. I just have to sell. I have to sell you the Sunday ticket through YouTube. We love YouTube. We love YouTube. We really do. We've sold it. You a few sold times, them last week, Bob. But we love them. Yep. Do we not love them, Joey D? Yeah, I love them. But you sold them. You've sold <laughs> hey, them two or three times. Joseph, now. respect the algorithm. Respect the algorithm. Bob's about the algorithm. You, I'm telling you, man, if you talk bad about them, they will. That's why I'm very, very careful. They're not the eye in the sky. Like, it's it's like, what are you talking about, Bob? You, let me tell you, YouTube is a different. The way they have it configured, they scare the living shit out of me. You got to be really, really. Who's the head honcho by YouTube, by the way? It's a good question. I don't know. I could tell you the head honcho over at Cameo. That's not what we asked. Nope. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, totally like what's, that's like saying what's the capital of freaking russia and you tell me well i could tell you the capital of finland <laughs> yeah. fair enough fair uh, enough that's a sell from joey d you got two cells on the board now we all know we prefer a sell out of mikey v maybe he doesn't have a cell buying amazon food. he's a <laughs> mikey v take it away i do have a sell um and i'm selling this and this is going to blow people's minds i think honestly uh I'm selling this technology and I want to preface it with this. This technology was groundbreaking 
It's still an everyday integrated integral piece of everyone's life. I'm sure in one way or another, but I'm selling it because they've like McDonald's, they've rested on their laurels. They've made oh, no, no improvements, no market improvements in all these years. Nothing has changed and something should Bluetooth. I'm selling Bluetooth technology. Everyone uses it. It was great when they came out with it, changed a lot of things, but there has been nothing done to the Bluetooth industry to improve Bluetooth at all. Nothing, nothing. It's the if same. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's the same thing for years now. And what are they doing at Bluetooth headquarters? These guys are just sitting around. They're not doing anything. They're just, they said, basically, we came up with this. Fuck it. We're good. We're not going to, we're not going to work at it. We're not going to make Bluetooth it. Bluetooth is great. You're missing the point here, Joe. You're mi You're missing the point. It should be better. It should be, there should have been some kind of way to make it better, easier to pair devices without having to hop off one device. Why can't I be connected to multiple devices at the same time? Why not? That's mayhem. Is it mayhem or is it laziness out of the Bluetooth people? I submit it's laziness out of the Bluetooth people. I think they've been resting on their laurels and I think Bluetooth has room for improvement and no one's looked to improve it. And <laughs> frankly, it's it's a problem and an epidemic in a lot of companies throughout this country. McDonald's being one of them. Bluetooth. Whoa! 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 You know, Sorry. one day maybe Sorry. we could have the Golden Arches Whoa. representing Sorry. the Burley Dumb Show. Not Sorry. after today. Let's dive into that a bit, Mikey B. What What about McDonald's? What do you he not said like this before? It's absolutely. I think that McDonald's just rests on their. I don't think McDonald's looks to actively improve themselves ever. I think they just establish who they are. God bless them. You know, they're they're, they're the they're top of the game. They're, they're a just titan. Of, they're a titan of industry. But the bottom line is. You're passing a Wendy's and a McDonald's. Which drive-thru are you pulling in right now? I'm I guarantee it. you don't find a Wendy's in Egypt. What drive-thru are you pulling into? If you That wasn't the fucking question. <laughs> you pass by a Wendy's and a McDonald's. What drive-thru are you pulling into, Joe? Be honest. It depends on the day, to be completely honest. <laughs> hey, you know what? At this, point, this, at this point, Wendy's isn't going to give us a sponsorship. I might as well look for the Golden Arch. Well, you might have to turn to the king. That Maybe That's, we turn to the king. Could, we might have to. I then love we're the, the biggest sellouts of all. We, no, we, we, I disagree. We, That's your king. Oh, I would be. Oh, no. Oh, don't go back to the don't king. Don't go back to don't the king. Don't go chicken. back. Make a hell of a chicken. That was the way, absolute by the way, going going back by the way if the... I was going to buy something, I would buy those royal chicken wraps. Those That's... new. They are. Try them. Burger King, the new royal chicken wraps. They got spicy. They got two other varieties. I had the spicy. Unbelievable. Here's what we're going to do. Very good. Here's what we're going to do. I think it's only right. You've seen it. I think you you, you pass the ball me and Joey D's way, and yeah. I think I think next episode we're reviewing one of those. Now the thing you're gonna get with Joey D though, that thing's got to pack. That thing has got to pack such a punch for him for him to give that the nod. He is gonna look for any reason to dislike that thing. Yeah, but that's possible. not. You know what? Then you're not being fair and you're impartial. Right, you're you're well, not. I'm always fair. fair. <laughs> okay, but then you're laughing at Bob's comment like he's telling the truth. It's just, that would... it's just funny how he says it. <laughs> all right, but I, think... I laugh all the time. No, you do. No, 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 I'm not. No, no, it wasn't the laugh. I, I have no. I love to laugh. I love your. I love your laugh. I love when we laugh. That's what life. I love laughing. Uh oh. Come Nebraska's on. in the red zone, Doc. Oh, give me something good. Give it's something third good. and eight. We got to get this fuck, first down. Fuck, fuck. Okay. Hey, hey. They're in field goal range. Respect the show. It's early in the game. Take the points. Respect the show. Oh, yeah. Take the take points. The po They're a three point dog, right? Three point dog. Yeah, you take the points. Respect the show. Let me know what happens on that third down, but respect the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so blue, uh, yeah, so Bluetooth is my sell this week, Bob. You know what? I, I think okay. Bluetooth is still. I I get what you're saying. I'm I not, you, I you see. I should have let you finish that sentence because you're going to say <laughs> your sentence was. I think Bluetooth is still. That's the problem. That's the problem. Is Bluetooth is still just. It's not better. <laughs> they don't have not competitors. Improved. What are they yes, going to do? They, I just said there's many things. Let me connect to multiple devices. Let me connect without having to go through the pairing process as, as, as redundant as that is all the time. Make some kind of an improvement. Something. Give me anything. They have given us nothing, and we've taken it and said, well, fuck it. This is the best they could do. This is it. We've accepted mediocrity at this point. That's so what is, this is, is, is that the improvement? I would say it's mediocrity. Is that I, well, Bob, listen, I'm not a, I'm not a tech guru. I, I, but I'm just a consumer. I would like to see the technology guys make the advancements. Do what they got to do. Okay, that's that's fair. Okay, well, three nothing, that, three nothing, three nothing. There you go. All right, let's clap it up for the points. Let's let's clap it up for the points. We'll How about the, those corn huskers, Doc? Let's clap it up for the points. 
Um, okay, fellas, it's time. Top five. This is the Bob top five. By the way, you too as well. Feel free to fire in any top fives throughout the week. I, I bang myself on the movie one. Um, we're back. And here's what we're going to do. Today we're going to be doing our personal top five most desired college tailgates. College football yep. tailgates, I think we could all agree, is, is what we're going for here. Yeah. Um, and it could also be a place that you have already been to. So what in your eyes, the top five most wanted or that you've already been college football tailgates out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with Mikey V. I was going to say, I'd like to lead off. I haven't let off. I feel like sure. forever. Sure. Okay. Uh, I've been to some of these, some of these I've have not. This was one I've been to number five. Give me state college whiteout game, Penn state state college whiteout game. That's at night. That tailgate, when you approach that stadium, if you've never been to Beaver Stadium, it is on a hill in a farmland where it is just acreage of empty grass around the stadium. It looks like they built this stadium to be like a cathedral for the state. And when you pull in and you become radio frequency of that area, there's about eight stations that carry the Penn State game. It's it's absolute pandemonium. The stadium is the most dangerous place I ever felt that I was in as an Ohio state fan for a whiteout game. I've been three times. It literally felt so hostile. The stadium literally shakes. That's not an exaggeration. Like the stadium literally shakes 110,000 people, 105. It's fucking insane. Penn state whiteout. Number four, give me death Valley LSU. Uh, haven't been there. My brothers have been there for a tailgate. I saw the pictures. I've read about it. It's supposed to be unbelievable. One of the best sec tailgates. Give me death Valley LSU. Number three, Red River, Red River rivalry this weekend, Texas, Oklahoma, the state fair I heard is, is, is absolutely one of the most must do bucket list things. The state fair for the tailgate for Oklahoma, Texas, is, number is that two, Oklahoma or is that Texas? That's a neutral site. That's at the cotton bowl. Usually I believe is it the cotton. Oh, okay. Bowl. Okay. So it's not, number, it's not either. Okay. number two is another neutral site. The world's largest outdoor cocktail party, Florida and Georgia. Florida and Georgia, literally the nickname of this tailgate is the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Uh, they actually had to ban that nickname back some years ago because of how insane that tailgate got. That's in Jacksonville every year, that game, the Florida Georgia game, pandemonium. And then number one, I've been there. The greatest tailgate, in my opinion, in the entire world is the Grove at Old Miss. The Grove at Old Miss is the greatest college tailgate experience. If you've never had it, you won't understand. It is the greatest experience you could ever have at a tailgate, in my opinion. And I've been to Ohio State. I've been to a lot of the big ones. This is the best one. But what, opinion. what you know, because I've been to, Mikey, what, you, like, people ask me, I can't, because I talk about it all the time, but I can't put my finger on what it, what it was. Like, Joe's even asked me a lot, like, me and Jet talk about it all the time when we did the first Bob the Sports there. Yeah. I can't put my finger on what on what it was on so, what i mean apart from sec football probably having the best tailgates college football has the best yeah. tailgates period out of any sport in my opinion um nfl can't really come close and i've been to big ones for nfl too outside of giant stadium uh the grove is basically in the center of campus is this big area and people put tents up right. next to each other literally on top of one another and they line them and there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of people it is a it's a surreal experience it's it's a surreal experience to experience it there is no words you could really put on it you have to experience it i would suggest anybody who's a fan of college football anyone who's a fan of sports likes tailgating a little bit that is your bucket list number one place to go in my opinion get another fun fact for you mikey v go bob does sports ruined the old miss tent run that they do the night before the game. And why is that? This is from people who just recently graduated from Old Miss. They do not allow it anymore. It's oh. the night before the tailgate. Yeah. All the fraternities line up and it's the night before. So it's pitch black out and they blow horns and they all have their tents and they go to secure their tents right, their around spot. the stadium. Yep. Yep. So we went to documents. It's one of the first Bob to sports that we've done. Maybe like the third one. First one was the Ryder cup. Uh, Old Miss was like the third, second World Series. Is that Series. before or after the Buffalo game? Before. Before. Okay. Before it. So me and Jed are there, and a, a frat really, back nine Chuck's son, Tobin, really like took us in, 
And his whole frat really took us in and they, they let us be there at the frat, get the whole experience, showed us around. We lined up with them for the tent run and we start booking it down when they blow the horn and everybody's running. And then sure as shit, I turn to my right and I say, keep your head on a swivel jet. These two frats are throwing hands with each other. And this oh, kid, yeah. this kid's getting the shit kicked out of it. It was yeah. hard to watch. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it that's... really was. Yeah, and we stupid, we put stupid. it out there, and apparently they do not allow the tent run. Now, this is what they had told us. I don't know how true it is, but he dead honestly said that no more because of that. But regardless, best one of all time. It yeah. really was. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead, and then we have Joey D, because Joey D will be interesting. Joey D's never been to a college football game besides the national championship game. Yeah. So that'll be an, it'll be an interesting ride to hear that. Um, Joe, for somebody like you who, who – really loves sports you 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 really have to get out to one of these big college games you you absolutely i i, I that is if well, i we're, had, we're, we're I, gonna I'm go not, to austin I, to the well, longhorn story i'm not gonna say it's i've been there that's where i had my bachelor party was austin texas went to a texas game very very cool beer gardens cool experience also texas was very cool look at the pub getting some love um okay i'll let it rip um number five this is just from what i've heard University of Tennessee apparently yeah, that's a good one. Is, yep. is one of the best tailgates out there. Obviously, I'm going to go very SEC dominant. I think you got to go SEC dominant. Yep. Um, Tennessee, five. Number four, I've been to a long time ago. Fucking blast. Alabama is so much different. I went to Alabama Ole Miss game in Alabama. Um, number three, LSU. Apparently one of the best ones out yeah, there. Sick. sick. I would do LSU at, at three. And then number two, Mikey V, I'm right with you. I've never been, and it's a shame that I haven't because it wouldn't have taken much to go. Penn State at number two. Yeah. Um, I would even do a Bob Just Sports episode there just because I think it would be such fucking Let's mayhem. Go. Yeah. Let's go. I, Let's I would go. do that. And then number one, I'm right there with you. I mean, Grove. The Grove yeah, was Grove. unbelievable. Grove. We either going to do a Bob Just Sports episode in Penn State or in Oxford, Mississippi. We had, I, and I, I was going to say before, and, and this is not a knock because that night was probably the best night of the trip, in my opinion, was at the Smigsy's house. Sure. There's no question about that. But if that had not happened, we would have had a really nice opportunity to do Bob Does Sports or something at that Penn, at the Notre Dame Ohio State game. That would have oh, been very special. Would have been great. very special. I'd never been to Notre Dame. I would I'll like, tell you what, that spread at Smigsies was pretty damn special. It was. Well, that's why I prefaced it. it. There's no, there's no, that was the best <laughs> night of the trip, in my opinion. Um, so that was that was, but I'm just saying, had that not gone down. Smigsy's such an overly nice guy that He's I a bet great you dude. I bet you you get a text from Smigsy tomorrow saying, Mikey V, next time, you know, just so you know, you can go to the game. I feel bad if I no, 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 when that's not no. what you said. I guarantee you. He I talked to Rocco Smigs more than I talked to Nick Smigs at this point. The best. So. The best. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, Joey D, take it away. Um, I kind of feel like it should be disqualified from this list because I've never been to a game. Like, yeah, I, but I mean, I never, Bob's never been to LSU. He's never been to Tennessee. Yeah, I've never yeah. been to LSU. I mean. I, I'm going based on places that I would desire to go. That's good. Uh, and based on like what I've seen, the, the colleges look crazy and wild. Rutgers, uh, number five? And number five, I have Tuscaloosa. I have Alabama. Sure. I just think that like, I think that for so long, Alabama has kind of run college football with Nick Saban and just like they have been the team to beat for so long that why not go there to witness a football game? It's got to be uh, just an absolute blast. Number four is one that Mikey V's not going to like, but I just think if I think big, if I think cool spots to watch a football game, I think the big house, I think Ann Arbor, and I know that Mikey V hates them, but, but I just think that like, listen, watching a game out there must be freaking unbelievable. I, it's gotta be, it's such a humongous stadium, crazy fans, wild presence. I, I'd go with Michigan the big house, Ann Arbor at number four. Number three, I have Death Valley, LSU. Every time they, they, they have a primetime night game, it looks insane. Like, it's just like the, the place is bumping. It looks crazy. Plus, you got that Southern hospitality and, you know, you know, go Tigers. And then number two is White the Whiteout uh, for Penn State. Uh, I just think it's so cool. You know, again, when you get to watch a whiteout game and just Insane. the stadium, Bro, it looks alive. It looks nuts. I never feared and, for my safety at a sporting event before I went comes a lot game. from you saying that. I, I literally feared for my safety literally 
Were you well, wearing an Ohio? Were you wearing Ohio State? Of course you were. You're fucking a right. Of course you were. Yeah, of course. Of course. And I bet you was louder than anybody. That's an American tight end, Bob. Oh yeah. I'd fear for your safety too. <laughs> um, and then number one, I had to put this on the list because Jet and Bob just talk about this place like literally all the time. And we've done some pretty cool shit in the last episode that just went out of Bob Just Sports. We're literally at St. Andrews on the old course, one of the most historic sites ever to play golf. And Bob asked Jet, would you take this or Oxford, Mississippi? What did Jet say? He said, he said St. Andrews, but it almost took him a second to think it about did. it. The Grove, which I'm the like, Grove, that is the Grove, un- the Grove is different, Joe. I'm like, the spot. fact that it even took him a second to think about it the to Grove, me was like, this place has to be the phenomenal. Is, the Grove is different. It's the Grove is different. What, what about it is so good though? Like, it, is it, it it's, just it's 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 inexplicable. You have to you have to go and experience it. You have to like listen. I've been to I've is... been to gigantic tailgates. Like I've been to the biggest tailgates, but this is just it's different. It's also, just different. Also, Joe, all of those tents that Mikey's talking about. Everybody, you're allowed in any tent. Like yes. everybody wants you to come. Well, what into do they their have tent in the tents? Do they have food and food, stuff? Food, food and food. It's yeah. like it's like their goal to get you into their tent. Everybody wants you. Oh, well, you're a likable guy, Bob. I appreciate. No, everybody that, wants everybody. <laughs> it's, they really it's do. Insane. It, it's, it's unbelievable. Insane. It's insane. Um. So yeah, I, honorable mention. I would go Florida State just because it's such a zoo out there that I would be curious. Now, when the day's done, I'm sure I'd be ready for the day to be over because of how nuts people are down there. But I would like to witness that. Give me Florida State. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take my boys. I'll take Columbus. Columbus is a great tailgate. There's no question about it. So I I mean I've experienced it. That's a great one. So I'll take Ohio State. And I don't mention Joey D. I think I would go Notre Dame. It looks like there's just a special vibe to watching a game out there with the. Whole, I think that I, mean, I think the game Rudy. experience is special for that. Like watching the game in the venue is 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 probably. Do they not have good tailgates? Good. I'm sure they tell you that they do, but I, I, I just games, don't think I that, can't see them being as raucous as some of the SEC schools. how crazy schools. the fans were when they that when they had it on prime nuts. time. They looked pretty crazy. Virginia yeah. Virginia Tech looks pretty fucking cool. Too. That's a wild place, and they play uh, what you call they play Actually, uh, Hel- Ender Sandman. What do they play? Hell's Ender Hel- Sandman. Oh, Ender Sandman when they yeah. come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's probably Actually, re- I actually like to retract. I'm gonna remove. Notre Dame, and I'm going to put Texas for the Longhorns, which is where we'll be at the end of the month, October. I don't know whenever the game is. On I told that myself last too that I that I was done with live events. I really did. But this no, one Bob, I, this, yeah, this one I'll be excited. Mikey about. V, look, I got to show you this. Is this is this is something else, man? I got to see. Hold on, I got to show you where we can watch the game. Uh, you, you know, what you do, Joe. Why don't you send it in a text to him? That might be huh? a better way. That might be a better way to go. Why don't you just text it to him? Because I don't really know if he's going to be able to see it from here. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't he be able to see it? Well, I guess maybe he would. It's no, an hold on. Austin, just, Austin's uh... a very cool city. Very cool city. Oh, Austin's a great city. A very good sports town, man. Very, very good sports. I can't find this stupid video. Where the hell is? Hold on. Give me one second. I got it. 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 Look at this. You ready for this? Look at that. <laughs> Look at where we're going to be watching the game. Oh, God. Oh, it, it started it. playing. I thought it was just going to be that. Oh, oh that's, that's nice, little. Yeah, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Sick. Yeah. That's nice. Very nice. I'll go ladies, Texas an honorable mention. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been another edition to Brilliant Notes. I'm, I'm serious. That was the last stroll. And I, again, I apologize to you guys for that audio last week. I apologize to the viewers for that. Um, it really was just absolutely abysmal. I'll tell you what, though, boys. I love you. I appreciate you. Go, Huskers. We'll see you next time. The Bill and Dub Show.